Well, our red tail's back on the post. This is our eastern red tail. Been hanging out down at the Heritage Farm. And I see how white it is under the throat and on the chest, but this is a eastern red tail that's in the area, so our bird watchers are excited about that. We have a Rufus Morph red tail, we have our regular western red tails here also, so we have several types. But this is the one that uh, stands out with a real white front. And we've been checking it out for a while and now we've discovered and verified that it is the eastern red tail. We've been hunting off this post for since about the 7th of January, maybe a little earlier. That's what's going on. It's spring cleanings. Made a couple passes off of there trying to catch something and now it's drying off. So. This is what eastern red tail looks like. You get the tail fanned out and the wings. You get a good view. Let me try to come in just a little bit more maybe. There we go. You see the red on the tail and you see all the markings on the breast but really white under the beak and the throat. Spread his wings out a little more, we'll get another view. He's just kind of posing. Trying to dry off a little bit, it's been sprinkling. Oh yeah. We'll do the breast feathers now. This is our eastern red tail. Using this post here, this telephone pole, for the past couple of weeks, so it gives us a good spot to stake out and get a good view of it. There have been several people watching it, so I now know for sure that it is the Eastern Red Tail. I'm going to preen the feathers a little bit. It certainly gave us a good view. Now you can see the white under the throat. Let's see if I'll fan those wings out one more time. Well, it's going to work on the breast feathers. All right, then. I think we can probably call that pretty much good, then.